Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We have the founder of the Truth Bar. So, how'd you come up with the name, Diana? Well, because the truth is uh, we eat too much protein. The truth is people like candy. The truth is we don't get enough fiber. The truth is that we eat too much sugar. So it's really the truth bar. It actually hits everything that we need. It's a gut health bar. The truth is we need everything that we have going on in our body starts in the gut. So if we heal the gut first, everything else just falls into place. So what made you decide to start this? Well, actually, I was kind of pushed into starting this because I thought, no, no, there's too many bars on the business. And I'm a, an ex-chocolatier, I'm a French chef, and I'm a gut health specialist. That's so, a great combination. Right. So, exactly. So, I had a partner who said, no, you got to make a bar. you got to make a bar. I'm like, okay, but if I make a bar, it's going to taste like a candy bar. It's going to have all the benefits of everything that you need each day. Omega-3s, probiotics, prebiotics, high fiber, et cetera. And it's going to be dynamic. And it is. So what was the first iteration of the product, the first bar that you decided to experiment with? Well, the first one was our chocolate almond crunch, which actually was called, um, mint, uh, was called a, a chocolate chip cookie dough because it was based on a raw cookie dough recipe that I mm. made. That sounds so, good. Yeah, but it had chia and coconut and almonds and everything delicious in it. So we tried to make that into a bar, which was fantastic. But as you know, everything takes iterations until you get it to the market and to make people really happy. Yeah. So yeah. what flavors do you have now? I've tried a few. They're delicious. Well, we have the original, which now has, it's called Chocolate Almond Crunch. Um, and then we have the mint chocolate chip, which is based, it's got an almond base with uh, cacao nibs in it and then an essential oil peppermint uh, flavor in it. All of this is covered in a dark chocolate, sugar-free dark chocolate. We also have the peanut butter crunch, which is, um, it's, it's layers and layers upon peanut butter. It's actually really good. And then we have two vegan ones, our coconut chocolate and our coconut raspberry chocolate. Okay. So where can people find it? Well, we're actually all over the country now. We're a little, we're a little sparse in the center of the country, but uh, anywhere from Pharmacas and Gelson's on the West Coast to uh, Kroger's, King Supers, GNC, CVS, um, Juice Pressery, and uh, of course online, yeah. Amazon, and TruthBar.com. Um, so milestones in the company. <laughs> uh, well, we're. Um, well, it's been about two years since we launched. Wow. And you guys have got a lot of traction in two years. Yes, we've got a lot of traction. We actually have a CEO, her name is Marilyn Martin, who has just done a fantastic job in sales. And she's gotten us spread out throughout the country. Um, we're out doing demos everywhere, because once you taste it, you become addicted to it. So I know that we're, um, we're, we're, we're pushing hard. Our, we can't keep up with manufacturing on certain flavors. So yeah. What are some of the challenges? You know, people think anyone and their mom can kind of go in their kitchen and, oh, yeah. and start a bar. What are some of the challenges? Yeah, you know, well, uh, production, manufacturing, uh, sourcing good ingredients, yeah. pricing, yeah. Uh, making sure that the consumer is getting a quality uh, at a price that they can afford. This bar should be priced at, you know, over above 329 because it's got it's one. It's tough when you have good ingredients, right? It's totally tough. And we've got 1 billion CFUs in each bar of probiotics, very high end probiotics yeah. that have testing and everything. So, but we like to keep our bars at a price. Um, that people can afford them and, you know, pocket two or three and stick them in their purse and eat them on the go. It's really yeah, important. It's a tough mix, right, to have a quality product that has, you know, beyond just nutritional components but the probiotics and prebiotics too. Um, what, what are some of the challenges of sourcing product? Uh, well, we just want to make sure that we have, well, first of all, we're kosher, we're non-GMO. Right. We want to make sure that we have really high quality. And sometimes when you're sourcing a good product, it's not consistent. And it's so expensive. It's expensive, yeah, but it's not consistent. So you want to make sure that it's consistent all the time. So it's constantly testing and making yeah. sure that we have the highest quality ingredients. So from the journey so far, what have you been especially proud of? Oh, boy. 
Well, I think it's so wonderful to me when I, I, I did a demo a couple days ago and this woman walked by and she goes, oh my gosh, I just bought a whole package of these. And she says, I'm addicted. She says, they make me feel so good. And she goes, and my, my stomach pain's going down and she's going to the, she's going regularly and she's really happy and i thought that's exactly what it's meant to do not just taste good but actually be a functional food that works yeah. so where point people where they can find it online again uh, truthbar.com truthbar truthbar.com and of course amazon all right yeah check it out truthbar.com thanks live from the sweet and snack show what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other Feel like a hundred grand